Okay, welcome to my video for what sold this week. Well, for the last two weeks of July 2018. And I'm going to go ahead and get right started on what sold. So the very first thing that we sold this week was... An old VHS tape, Sunbonnet Sue visits a quilt a day, quilt in a day. So I don't know what it is, just some old quilting video or whatever. So let's see, I had it. This, I didn't pay anything for it. Listed it March 11th, 2016. Sold July 15th, and I got eight bucks plus shipping on it. So that was it. Videotape had it a long time though, and that's I guess part of my thing is list it and. And however long it takes to sell, it takes it. That's when it sells. So, all right. Next, canning jar lid. You've seen these a few times, once or twice. I paid seventy nine cents. Listed it September thirtieth last year. Sold it July sixteenth. Why I got these old numbers all wrong? I got the numbers all wrong up here. July 16th. That's better. And then I gotta change that. Come on. That's better. Okay. Yes, that's I like that better. So it's his 16th, but I think it actually sold on the 15th, so. Whatever, whatever. It sold, and I got seven dollars and nineteen cents plus three fifty shipping. So, okay, next. What is it? What is it? It's a mystery thing. It's a Bible. It is a uh, giant print Bible. And let's see. I paid a buck. I listed it August 16th, 2016, two years ago. Two years ago, and I sold it uh, July 15th, and I got $24 plus shipping. I thought it would sell a lot faster. There were other ones comparatively priced. It, uh, look, the coffee mug. You are inspiring. Yes, yes, you are inspiring. Okay, so next. It's a, a it, it's a big round kind of well multifaceted what's a twelve sided thing? I don't know what a twelve sided thing. It's got twelve sides, whatever it is. Came out of an old uh, National Geographic game. I don't know where I got it. it that's since I paid nothing, so I, I don't know if I don't know where it came from, but um, I listed it March 1st, sold it July 16th, and I got eight dollars for eight dollars free shipping. So it cost two sixty six to ship it, but yeah, it's gone. So next, soap ball, wave for me. Come on, come on. There we go. Princess Gardner Wallet. I know where I got this. I got this at the niche a couple of years ago. Let's see. Uh, I actually, I've had it listed a long time. It was, uh, it was in a bag, a bag sale, one of the five dollar big garbage bag things. So I probably paid like nothing for it really. And I listed it March seventeenth last year. Sold July sixteenth. I got ten bucks for it. Ten bucks free shipping. So it's just a little. A little purse, a little cowhide purse. I'm, you know, again, I'm surprised it. It, it was a nice little purse, I, but there's lots of them on eBay. So, you know, you pay pennies for something, though. You know, and that's the way it goes. So, and again, you know, it doesn't matter to me if something sells tomorrow when I list it, or if it sells a week from now, or two months from now, or two years from now. It doesn't matter to me. I just don't care. You know, I, of course, I'd like it to sell tomorrow. That, that'd be great. You know, but. That's not typical, and at least this way I have like a constant, like scavenger life says, like a pipeline of of money coming in every so often something sells, and, and you know, not as much as they sell, okay, don't get me wrong, but, uh, you know, if I had the kind of, the amount of items listed that they have listed, I probably would sell a lot more, so, 
but I don't. So, all right. Next. Another cannon jar lid. Let's see. Two of them. I actually sold two of them. So I paid 79 cents a piece for them. Listed them March 30th. Sold July 16th. I got 12 bucks for the pair. Plus shipping. Plus shipping. So, Which was $2.99. I only charged for one. I charged $2.99 on these ones. I don't know why I charged three fifty on that other one. I don't know. I think I thought I had them all set up for two ninety nine, but apparently not. So anyway, all right. So that's that's that. Next, I'm, I actually was running out of those ones with those little circles, the the, the drill quite close little circles on them. I have a lot of them that have wider circles, but not those those ones. And then I picked up some at the yard sale shack. I picked up some cannon jars. They were. I think she charged me. A quarter a piece or something for them, and I took all the lids off. So I got a lot of four or five more of these ones. So oh, it looks says I got six available. So, but I was like down to like two. So I got, I got like four more of them. So yeah. All right. So next, and Nerf ammo clips. That's what they are. And I had them listed for a while. I, I, you know, got into selling the Nerf there for a while, but it, it, it kind of died a little bit. So I took my, the big gun, the bigger guns that I have, took them over to the shop, and I just recently sold, actually bought two of them. I still have, I have a bow and arrow, a Nerf bow and arrow over there. So, and that'll probably, I'm sure that'll go eventually here too. So I paid five bucks for these at the Goodwill. I paid, they were 99 cents a piece. I paid five bucks, and I listed them January 30th, sold them July sixteenth, I got I got nineteen ninety five free sh free shipping, but still nineteen ninety five. I was happy with that. So, all right, next. All right, and it is a fax cartridge, some kind of for a brother, some kind of brother printer, fire fax machine or whatever it is. I picked this up at the Goodwill. Um, let's see. Uh, I know maybe it wasn't Goodwill. I don't know where I got it, but it was free. Wherever I got it, it was free. I didn't pay anything for it. So I listed it March 4th, and I had it priced higher, and it wasn't selling, it wasn't selling, it wasn't selling. So I, I uh, dropped it way down to 2 bucks and sold it on uh, July 16th and made it go away. So plus shipping, 2 bucks plus shipping. So I didn't lose any money on it. So, all right. Next. Okay, and next was these uh, Rawlings Youth Baseball Gloves. I bought a bunch of these at uh, Walmart the one day, quite a while ago now. And uh, I paid a buck a pair for them. And they sell very slowly, very, very slowly. They've been listed since August 7th, 2016. So, yeah, I sell a few of them here and there, not very often. Uh... They sold July 17th for 15 bucks free shipping. So, next. It's just one pair. That just shows, the picture just shows both of the kinds. It's a variation listing, so they know they, which would, they have to pick one or the other. So, they cannot be confused by the picture because they have to choose. So, all right, next. Oh, uh, Anaheim Mighty Ducks hat. This is the one that I sold and the guy never paid and apologized for not paying but still didn't pay. So I resold it again and let's see uh, where is it at? Right there. I paid about 50 cents for this hat and I listed it June 19th. Sold it July 18th for 20 bucks. Free shipping. So, and I was happy with that. I was happy to get 20 bucks for it, so it was a good price. Next. Are you ready? Copenhagen. There's the Copenhagen hat that I mentioned before. I listed this, the Nike hat, and the, the Mighty Ducks hat all the same day. They would set up in a room for a year or so before I listed them, and uh, they all turned into money. So that was pretty cool. This is the Copenhagen hat, and let's see... 50 cents I paid for it, listed June 19th, sold, see, it's not supposed to jump around like that, 
sold it uh, July 18th. And I, I only got 13 bucks for it, but hey, it turned into money. So 13 bucks free shipping. Shipping was, you know, first class. So it went cheap. It went cheap. All right. Next. Easy Riders VHS tapes. I had one of these that I picked up. I think I got it at uh, my neighbor's closet thrift store in Mansfield, which basically means it was about 10 cents. And then the other ones I picked up at Goodwill one day. So, let's see. It says I it says I paid six bucks, so we'll go with that. We'll say we'll say there's six bucks. There. When I bought them, my Goodwill store was a buck a piece for videotapes. Now they're 50 cents a piece for videotapes, but. I'm not really buying videotapes anymore, just so you know. I'm not really buying it. I'm sitting on a stack of, of Barney tapes that aren't selling, and I'm sitting on a bunch of VA, uh, VeggieTales tapes that aren't selling, and they used to sell, so I'm not buying anymore right now. So, uh, you know, they could it, it could turn around. They, they, you know, they could come back around again. I don't know, but right now they're not selling. So, and I... And I don't care what the reason is why they aren't selling. They're just not. So, okay. So I uh, paid six bucks. I listed January first, two thousand seventeen. So they were up for over a year, January first, two thousand seventeen, and sold July eighteenth. And I got twenty dollars free shipping, media mail for them. So I was happy. They're gone. Next. I love it when stuff goes away. Next. And this is, uh, I picked this up at Walmart. They were clearanced out back in the spring, I think it was. I paid $4.50 for it and listed it August 23rd, 2017. So it's been up on, it's been up a year. So it's, I've had it longer than I thought. Time flies. So, uh, yeah. And sold it July 18th and I got 14 bucks plus shipping. So happy with that. Okay, next. This is just a lot of old keys. I'm not sure where I got them, where they came from, what the deal is on them. I don't remember. But I listed them because of Dusty. And let's see. I didn't pay anything for them, so I listed them November 21st, 2016. Sold July 18th for 5 bucks, Plus shipping. So that's good. So next... Okay, next. See how this works. Spinner. Wilton. Wilton Course 2 Cake Decorating Kit. Picked this up at uh, Goodwill. I picked it up at Goodwill. And I paid, let's see. <clears throat> I paid five bucks for it. Uh, I listed it April 18th. Sold it July 19th. And I got $17. Free shipping. Next. Trophy Ridge. It's another Whisker Biscuit archery hunting. And, uh, let's see. Really? Is that how we do it? Okay. Whisker Biscuit. I paid five bucks. Listed March 18th. Sold July 19th. And I got $15. Free shipping. Next. You know, I don't like that. It's five bucks. I paid five. Cost me probably three bucks, two, two sixty six probably to ship. That's like eight bucks. I, I made a few bucks on it. You know, once you add the, add the fees in, I made a few bucks on it. That ain't bad, I guess. Next, they're easy to list. Now, I guess, you know, if I could find more right now, I could just re reload, re the relist of this listing would be all right, but I'm not gonna find any more right now. So, all right, next. Ding ding. Maybe I will. I shouldn't say I'm not gonna. when I might. Another cannon jar lid. Seventy nine cents I paid. Listed March thirtieth. Sold July nineteenth. I took five bucks for this one. Just one. Just one. I only took five. I don't really like to do that if I only buy one, but I do. So next. And more of this flaxseed fiber. I think this was the last of it. I think it was the last of it that I sold. So uh, I got these at Walmart. What I paid for these, I paid uh, 
I paid ten bucks for the pair. Ten bucks for the pair. And I listed them on April twenty eighth, sold July nineteenth, and I got almost thirty bucks for them, free shipping, so good deal. Okay, next. Plastic cases for the five and a quarter inch floppy disks. I had these around for they've been around for a while. I, I was over at Niche one day and went in the front of the store and in the front of the store they have a spot where they put stuff out that they just want to get rid of and there was a box of uh all kinds of floppies you know both both you know the the three and a half the three and a whatever they are and the five and a quarter ones there was a box full of of these cases and and all and a bunch of discs and it was free so i took it home and i i probably made uh, i have made well i can't really say anymore but i know I've made at least a hundred bucks on 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 that stuff, so it takes a while. I've, I've only got a few few of the floppy disks left, so but let's see. Uh, so I didn't pay anything for it. I listed this October thirty first, two thousand sixteen. So it's been a while. Sold it, and I had it longer than that. I had it sitting here for months and months and months before I got to it. So uh, let's see. So yeah, October thirty first. Sold it July nineteenth. I got 20 bucks, 20 bucks plus shipping for them, so that was pretty cool. So it just took a while, probably because there was a lot of other people selling them cheaper. But I'm willing to wait for a, a buyer that will pay me more. You know, it's just, it's hard to sell something this big, you know, for, for cheap, because it takes a long time to package. I mean, so I sell them can jar lids, but it don't, you see me ship them, it doesn't take long, so... All right, next. Just some stuff I just don't. I just don't feel like people make low offers, and I just don't take it. it just takes. It's just too much work. All right, so let's see. We have another Canon jar lid. Again, I paid seventy nine cents, and um, so. I Sold it on the 19th, and I got 719, so I got full price plus shipping on it. So, all right, next. My life is good. T-shirt, long sleeve T-shirt. I'm trying to remember where I got this. Recently, I think I got it. I got it at the yard sale. Yeah, I got it at the yard sale this this summer. I went out that I went out that one day with my wife. I don't know if I told you. We went. We were, we were just out one day and in the morning doing something, and I saw a yard sale sign. I said, "Well, let's go to a yard sale." So she goes, she said, "Yeah." So if my wife says, "Yeah, to a yard sale," I'm going. So we went, and uh, funny thing is, she's the one that got me to go yard sales first, and you know. But uh, so we stopped at this one yard sale, and it was a nice young couple having, it, and they had a lot of clothes for sale and a lot of other stuff. And uh, I bought a one of those little potato bins. You know what I mean? Kind of you know, 80s or 90s looking little potato, you know, potato bin things, and, and I bought, they, I bought this, I bought some, a few t-shirts, I bought some camo shirts, I took the camo shirts, they were all 50 cents, so I took the camo shirts over to the shop, and I, I sold two of them right after I took them over, but I only put them in for five bucks, four or five bucks, because, you know, I paid 50 cents, so make them go away, and, uh, my potato bin. I paid. I paid twelve dollars for everything I bought at that yard sale. I took the potato bin over and I put, I think about twenty bucks on it, and it sold before the day was out. So yeah, I, same same. I got it that morning, took it over there, and sold it that day. So, and I sold that, and and then, I, and then this thing sold this. Uh, Life is good T-shirt. I no, it says here I paid a buck for it, so I'm, I paid a buck for it. Listed it July nineteenth. Sold it July twenty first. And I got I got fifteen dollars, so not twenty, but fifteen dollars free shipping, and I was pretty cool with that. So, all right, next, life's been good to me so far. Okay, um, McDonald's. It's a McDonald's Hot Wheels car. I picked this up I don't know a while ago. I don't know where I got it anymore. I don't really remember. Let's see. This is I got it for free. So, uh, uh, who knows? Who knows? one of those places where it just probably I just had it sitting around here forever and uh, I probably picked it up somewhere a long time ago and I just don't remember what I paid for it and so it's just it's a little uh, 
to a sprint car. So it's the only one of these I had. I had some other sprint cars, but they were not McDonald's cars. They were they were actually mis mystery cars that you had to send in for. And so uh, I have a, I had four or five different ones of those or something, and they're listed too. But I haven't I haven't sold any of those. You thought those would be the ones that would sell because they're obviously you know not as popular as the Happy Meals were. You know, but oh well, the Happy Meal must be more uh, more collectible. So anyway, I listed it June fifteenth, sold it July twenty first, and I got I got nine bucks, nine bucks free shipping. So two two sixty six to ship it. So that was cool. So next, Levi's, a pair of Levi's jeans, size 12. Pretty sure those are another one of those ones that were sitting in the basement for a few years before I finally washed them all up and listed them. But they might not have been. I've lost track now of which ones they were. Let's see. Uh, Do, 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 do. Paid nothing for them, so yeah, probably one of those. Listed it March nineteenth, sold June twenty first, for fifteen bucks. Fifteen bucks for the pair, plus shipping on that. So, I guess that's good for a pair of Levi's, isn't it? Your regular Levi's, fifteen bucks plus shipping. That's pretty good, I think. Especially when not, you know, didn't pay anything. I don't know. So, okay, uh, next. What's it going to be? Zumba. I think this was the last one. I think this is my last Zumba. Which is good because I'm glad they're gone. That was a bad buy. I paid $9. I listed it October 6th. Sold July 21st. I got 12 bucks plus shipping. So, eh, not so much. Not so much. Oh well, live and learn. Next, I'd probably do it again because they, when I listed them, they looked like they were selling. And there's the Nike hat, so that's all three of the hats. Then you get to see all of them. So, and let's see. Uh, so I paid like fifty cents, listed it June nineteenth, sold it July twenty first, and I got I got uh, fifteen ninety nine, sixteen bucks free shipping. So I was happy with that too. So they're gone. So next. It did have a little blemish beside the E, so. Case double X stainless knife. I had this around for a long time, too. Let's see. I don't. I probably got it at Goodwill for 29 cents or something, and, and I don't know. I, I put zero down because it's been too long. Listed November 7th, 2015, so three years ago. Going on three years. And uh, sold it July 22nd, and I got $8. $8 plus shipping. For a knife, so good. Next, made in USA. Case double X, made in USA. Although some of them Japanese knives, are pretty, they're pretty. Some of them, some of the older ones are pretty good. You know, they're they're pretty good. They're not they're not as good as Cutco or something like that, but they're pretty good. So masterpiece game, and this was. This was in a stack of, of games that I had at the top of the hall for years. Years. <laughs> and uh, I went through and, and listed all the ones that I could. And, you know, that I had up there. I have a few more that I put back because they, they weren't complete. And I couldn't find I couldn't find another game readily available to try to complete them. So, But I put it back up because I have more games around. And I, I have to get to them. So anyway... This, let's see, Masterpiece board game, I paid a dollar, listed it July 12th, sold July 22nd for $40, and I did free shipping on it, so. 40 bucks though, man. Woohoo! I don't know what it cost to ship, don't remember, don't remember. So, anyway, next. Wizard Rain Jacket, these... These were, hmm, let's see, since I paid nothing, so I'm thinking, 
I'm thinking I must have got them at a property I cleaned out or something. Anyway, uh, I listed June 21st, sold July 24th, and I only got five bucks for it. So, plus shipping, five bucks plus shipping. So, you know, and not not a not a big one, but I, there's a challenge to me to sell something just to sell it. So I did. So and they're they're gone. So and that, a lot of that stuff now. Well, maybe not that. That I probably sell online. A lot of stuff I just take over the shop. So next, T balls. I paid fifty cents a piece for these at Walmart when they were clearanced and listed them August twenty third last year. Sold this one July twenty fourth for seven dollars and ninety eight cents. Free shipping. So they're just little T balls. They. Went in a little box, probably two something for shipping. So, next, my gun is quick. This is on cassette. Mickey Spillane. It was a dark and stormy night. So my gun is quick. It's uh, Stacy Keach, read by Stacy Keach. So that's good. That's cool. What was it? What was the name of that show he did? It was it back in the eighties? I think. It was based on Mickey's playing books. I think it's hard. No. No, that's Hard Castle. No, that wasn't it. What was the name of that show that he was, Stacy Keach was in? That was, uh. I don't remember. It was a detective, yeah, it was a de detective show, wasn't it? I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember as soon as you told me, though. Okay, so I paid 50 cents. Listed it June 25th, 2016. Sold a year and a half, yeah, almost two years later, over two years later. July 24th for, yeah, you got it, a dollar. Sold it for a dollar plus shipping. I had it listed for a lot, for higher than that, for a long time. And finally just, I did my clearance sale and got, got made it go away. So, next. Oh, I made money on those audio tapes. I bought them. I got them in a bag lot at the niche, so I made I, I did pretty good with the first few, and then uh, now I still have a few left. They're probably all a buck. So Aunt Martha's, these I paid fifty cents a piece for. Uh, they're actually it's actually a variation listing, so they have to pick the one they want. So uh, I've sold a few of them. Here it says I sold three, but that's when I after I went through and ended them all and put them up in a variation listing so I didn't have they didn't gobble up as many listings every month so let's see uh, 50 cents I paid listed March 18th sold July 25th and I got is it July 25th yes oh it says 17.97 so I must have sold three yeah I must have sold three and just don't have the mark down there so since I sold three, I'm going to change this here to three. And I'm going to change this to a dollar fifty. So it cost me a dollar fifty for the three of them. All right, so I sold three of them. So that's good. All right, okay. So next. And it's another lodge. I think I have, uh, it says I have two more available. So if you want one of these lodge, what are they? Are presses. They're press for use on your grill, I guess. Um, and they probably would work good for hamburgers to press them, maybe get the grease to come out of them. So anyway, yeah. Better than bending your spatulas all up anyway. So yeah, so I paid, uh, I paid, was it four bucks a piece for these? Lodge, yeah, four fifty a piece for him. Listed this uh, August twenty third last year. Sold it July twenty fifth. and got fourteen bucks plus shipping. Next, and they went uh, uh, padded flat rate. So next, what do we got? What is it gonna be? Coca glass, Coca Cola glasses. A picture shows four. The listing says five, and when I went to pull them out, there were six. So I 
emailed the buyer and asked them if they would mind if I sent them all six, and what do you know, they didn't mind a bit, so I did send them all six, and I don't think I'll buy these anymore, you know, I, I just don't think I'll get them. They used to sell, I used to sell a lot of these pretty good, but maybe not so much anymore. Um, I don't know, if I get them cheap, I'll probably, but I, I would take them over to the shop. I would probably just take them over to the shop. If I get them, you know, quarter, 50 cents or whatever, I'll take them over to the shop and put three, four, five bucks on them and uh, sell them that way. So that's what I would do now. So anyway, uh, I paid about two bucks, listed December 9th, 2016. That was when I listed the original four, and then I added apparently two more along the way. So, but the, you know, the, the, I don't know if I added that last, if I ever got that last one added in. I must have not. So anyway, uh, yeah. Frosted glass, two bucks. Sold July 26th. Not, is it 26th? It is 26th for 1995. Something's wrong here. Something is missing. Yep, something is missing. Okay, hold on a second. There was one that was really important that I must not have loaded or something, or I might have accidentally got rid of the tab by accident somewhere along the line. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that one. It's right here. And it is... Oh, wait. There, now I got it. Now I got it right. It's a, a dark, the dark crystal. It's a, a, uh, it's a jigsaw puzzle that I, I picked up. It was in my room that I have upstairs, and you know this is really irritating because I saw another one of these not that long ago at the Goodwill, and I didn't pick it up because for some reason I was thinking they don't sell because I kept seeing that one upstairs, and I didn't equate to it doesn't sell because you don't list it. So I never even bothered to check it when I saw it. Of course, it's not there now. It isn't there now. But, uh, yeah, so do yourself a favor and look up the Dark Crystal. And there is a cult following for this thing. So, just so you're aware. Uh, the Dark Crystal, I paid 50 cents for this thing. I listed it. I listed it. July 26th, and I sold it July 26th, and I got $35 for it. But I'll tell you, that's not typical. That's not the stuff you'd normally find, you know. A lot when you're shop, shopping and buying used used items, that, that's just not what, that's just not how it works, not normally. So, but it was great. I was, you know, I was really happy that I got it listed and, and, and sold it for 35 bucks plus shipping. So, and I think I listed it higher than everybody else pretty sure I was higher than everybody else because they were all selling at good prices so I uh, I stretched it I stretched it a little bit to see if I could maybe pull somebody pull somebody in real quick and uh, and they did it, it didn't last it didn't well I'll tell you what I did I listed it and then I went out I went outside I went outside and I got the eggs from the from the chickens, and I came back. Uh, I came back in the house and put the eggs down. I came back over. They it had sold, <laughs> so it it wasn't up long. And it was it wasn't up very long at all. So I think that's how it happened. I know it. I remember it being really fast that it sold. So thirty five bucks for an eighties jigsaw puzzle. Pretty cool. All right, next. And the Cleveland Indians. It's part of a. It's part of a, a like a strategy, type of a baseball game. I had a, it had a bunch of different teams. I paid. What did I pay? I paid. I paid three dollars for the game, and I've been selling all the teams off over a few years now. So I've done really well with them. Let's see, I listed it March 8th, 2016, sold July 26th for $9.50 plus shipping for this for this team. So, and I still have probably maybe 10 teams left, I'm thinking. And I, I wouldn't doubt, I wouldn't have a problem telling you that I probably made 200 bucks 
on, on that so far. So next. Curiosity. This is a funny one. I got this. What I do? I, I went over to the yard sale shack one day. Think it was, I don't think it was last summer. I think it was the summer before. And they had a box outside for five bucks. And it, it had it had a bunch of it had Nerf guns in it. And it had a, a Star Wars gun, a little Star Wars gun in it. You know, like, you know, you know, kids like playing kind of one. And, and it had, it had laser tag guns in it. So there was laser tag guns, Nerf guns, this other gun. And I saw those and I went, okay, I'm, I'm five bucks, just mine. So I bought it. And I get it home and I'm, I'm going through it and I find there's a little black box in there, a little cardboard box. And inside that, I open the cardboard box and there's perfume in there. And this was one of them. I mean, granted, that's been probably two years ago. And I finally got it listed. So uh, I listed it. Let's see. So I, I basically didn't pay anything for this. And I listed it uh, I listed it July 26th. And I sold it on the 27th for $40 for shipping. Yep. Sat in a box in, in my room. Forever. For a long time, anyway. 40 bucks just sitting there waiting for me to sell, to list. So, that was pretty cool. So, next. And it's not even full. It's not even a full. It's not even a full bottle. I mean, it's, what, three quarters? Something like that. Two thirds. So, next. And the Max. I got one of these left. I got one left. You'll see more. I've been selling them. I sold some more. I sold some this morning. Went in the, went in the mailbox. So that's the only thing I had to ship today. Was I had sold actually two of them. They bought two of them. So and it left me with one. So all right. So this one, fifty cents, listed May tenth, two thousand sixteen. Sold July twenty eighth for six dollars and nineteen cents. Free shipping. Next, they ship for two sixty six. So I'm not making much on them. Not much at all, but if you count up all the little bits for the long period of time I've had them, uh, I sold 27 of them, so I did. I, I mean, I made a little bit on them, so next. Then they're easy ships, so I'd probably do it again. Another T ball. 50 cents. And I, uh, let's see. I, so actually, I sold two of them. I sold two of them, so. That's a dollar. Paid a buck for the pair. I listed August 23rd last year, sold July 28th. They got 15.96. So, free shipping for two of them. That was good. Very, very good. This feels like forever ago. It's just uh, July. It just feels like it was forever ago that this stuff sold. So, next. Hannah Howell Highlanders. I knew. I knew there was a girl out there that liked reading. Maybe it's a guy. I don't. I just see him such a. I'm so 80s. I'm just, <laughs> you know, guys are a lot of like romance novels too, aren't they? I, I don't think I've ever read one. But. But I don't read a lot. So, so but and anyway, so you know, the, these were all Highlander ones, and I had a couple of them that I got somewhere, and I had listed. I'd sold them before. I used to sell her quite a bit when I was really into selling books and so I got these and the lot didn't sell if the couple that I had so I I added I went somewhere else and I found I think four more or something like that four or five more and I changed the listing and put them in there and they didn't last too long after I did that but it was originally listed let's see I don't see it on here Oh, I gotta fix this. Sorry. Okay. All right. Well, it's all fixed. Let's see. I I actually listed. I paid three fifty. I listed them February nineteenth. Sold July twenty eighth, and I got eighteen dollars and eighty eight cents free shipping. So, the shipping was probably three or four dollars. Um, so medium mail. So, that's that. So next. I will still buy romance books and sell them if I can get them for a good price. 
I just made so much money on Romeo. There was a time, y'all probably have heard of Nora Roberts, who did a lot of, she was very prolific in writing romance novels, but I went to an auction one time, and and there was boxes and boxes of Harlequin, like Harlequin romance, that had never been, like, never been taken out of the shipping boxes. These romance, these Harlequin romance books had never been taken out of shipping boxes. Well, I was selling books, so, and I was getting the boxes for a buck, uh, you know, a buck a box for a whole, a whole big box full of these boxes, you know, and, and bags. And, all. and then I ended up getting, like, a, a boatload of them for, you know, a buck for all of them. So, I took them home and I started looking and I found these Nora Romance books. Well, Nora Roberts Romance books. So, I, I looked them up and they were getting, like, over $100 for one, one, one of these books and these books were all mine were all pristine I mean they had never been out of the box they, they were obviously no one had ever cracked the spine on them gorgeous they, I mean they, they were perfect and uh, I did I ended up making a couple thousand dollars on those on those romance books most of the romance books that were in there all went to the art sale and sold off cheap but the Nora Roberts ones at that time were selling really really stupid prices and it wasn't long after that that Harlequin Romance reissued all of her, all of her old, all of her old novels, all of the old ones that had her in them. So they reissued them also. It, pl it killed the prices. It killed all the prices. So, because she had written for them before she got super popular, and then once she got super popular, then all that old stuff. So think about that. That is still a possibility. You could have a, an author who's not really, really popular, and. Uh, and becomes popular, and they may have written for Harlequin or some other thing like that. And if they become super popular, a lot of people will will want to go want to read their old stuff. So if they can't find it anywhere now, I don't know. Things have changed now because of the internet and, and Kindle and all that stuff like that. So I don't know if that still applies. That'll still work. But who else did I see? Um, I I can't. I can't really think of anybody else that, that I saw that happen with, right offhand. But yeah, so that was that anyway. So all right. So this guy here is. Uh, I paid a buck fifty for him at Walmart. They were clearanced out, and I've had them for a couple years now. This one I listed July eighteenth, two thousand sixteen, and sold them July twenty ninth, and I got. 16 bucks. 16 bucks plus shipping. So, good. Good. Next. I have more of them. Lots more of them. Well, not two lots. Not two lots, but... But there's more, so... Alright, next. Another can of jar lid. See, now this one doesn't have the... The circles aren't as close together on this one as on the other one. So, these ones are different. And I paid 37 cents, listed October 20th last year, sold July 29th for $7.19 plus shipping. Next. G.I. Joe, the USS Saratoga. I took it apart. I took the aircraft carrier all apart, got rid of the main body of it because it wasn't selling for very much for the whole complete thing. But parts at the time were 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 a little better, so uh, I took it apart. Uh oh, I just lost my monitor. Why did I lose my monitor? Did we lose? No, we didn't lose power. Well, that was weird. Okay. So uh, yeah, so I paid ninety nine cents for for the aircraft carrier at the Goodwill. And they were happy that I took it. So I listed I part listed this out. I parted it out and listed it on uh I don't know, I've sold what have I sold? I sold the Conning Tower. I sold I think this listing here was for was it for the battery? It just says replacement parts. I don't know what I sold. But I know I sold the battery cover, sold the conning tower I think this piece is gone. I'm not sure if I sold any of those other parts. 
So I think I've sold three parts now. So anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's see what's left. You can click on here. See the. I still have the motor, the anti-aircraft gun, wherever that is. Must be this guy right here. The anchor. Yep, still there. The speaker, and those white things are the docking bumpers. So, yeah. So I sold. Well, yeah, just so, so like three. Yeah, so, so, so the bridge, the storage bay door, yep, and the the battery compartment cover. So that's something to keep in mind. Battery, the battery compartment covers for uh, stuff that you get. If it doesn't work, sometimes the battery covers. You might get more for them than they do for for the whatever the thing is that you're selling. So keep that in mind. So let's see. I paid 99 cents for the whole thing, and Listed it February 18th, sold it July 30th for 10 bucks. So I sold the battery cover for 10 bucks. So uh, plus shipping. So next, and it is a lawn tractor belt. I think it went to Indiana. Uh, let's see. I paid four bucks. Yeah, there's another cannon jar laid in, in between there, too. That I sold for five. I must not have it on here, but it's on there, so. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I paid four bucks for this belt. I listed it September 10th, sold July 30th, and I got $20 free shipping for this belt. Next. Frisbee. This is the Frisbee. This is the one that the guy sent it back because it was too heavy. I don't know if I told you the story, but he sent it back. It took him a while. It took him a week or so to send it back. And uh, I was going to call and have it. And have it closed. Have it, but I didn't. I didn't. And then the guy put it in the mail like the next day. So he, he emailed it back. And so I relisted it. And I listed it for $20. And it sold. It sold a few hours later after I relisted it, so it's on its way again. Hopefully this guy understands that it's heavy. And I didn't know this. Somebody asked me as well. There were two kinds like this made. One was rigid, which I believe was mine. And the other one was kind of what she said pliable or I fold or something. But she said you could fold it in half. Obviously not mine. You can't fold mine this one in half. So, so I resold it for 20 bucks. So... I'm happy with that. I originally paid 99 cents for it. Of course, I had to pay the shipping both ways the last time. And uh, then the shipping this time. But it was nice to sell it again. So Anyway, but this is the first time it sold. So for a dollar. I mean, I paid a dollar for it. Listed it July 28th. Sold July 30th. Ten bucks. All right, and then the next thing is Glant Knight Chess Set. I picked this up at the Goodwill for a dollar. I listed it June thirtieth, sold it July thirty-first, and I got twenty dollars for the set. It's just just for the just for the part, just for the pieces there. No no board or anything else, just that. And it was free shipping too, so. But they were pretty light, so they went first class. So, okay, next. Veggie Tales. This is a Veggie Tales book in a cassette tape, and it never opened. It was, it was still in in the package and everything. I picked this up. I paid a dollar. I think I got it at the Goodwill. Got it to Goodwill for a buck. And. I listed it July 30th, sold July 31st for 20 bucks, free shipping. So, and that was good. And I again priced it higher than everybody else. So, next, there it is, the White Ranger Power Rangers Party Express invitations. Party invitations. Two packs of them. 
I uh, got them at the niche in the free free section one day, and I'll tell you when. Well, not when, but I'll tell you when. Ah, uh, so they were free. I listed them. Here it comes, May thirteenth, two thousand fifteen. List it and forget it, man. List it and forget it. Sold it July 31st. And I got $15 for them. So, yeah, I was pretty happy with that. So, okay. That's, that's, I think that's, that it? Yeah, that's it. That was everything for the last two weeks of July. It's taken me for almost a year, almost an hour to get through this. And I spent about $80 for everything. And my total, my total sales were... Well, let's see, I forgot to... Well, my total sales were 7150 But I have to take into account the $10 that got sent back on the Frisbee. So, some... $691.52. That's my... That's my, that's my net, my net sales for, for the two, for the two weeks. So, man, that works for me. I'm, I'm good with that. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, 600 bucks. I can handle that. How about you? But I can. So, because uh, I did good at the shop, and then I had mowing jobs that I did too, and, uh, I didn't think I sold anything on. And actually, you know, there was some stuff I sold on True Together, but I don't, I don't have, I didn't keep track of it. it was it either there or Bonanza? One of the, I sold some lids, some Farber, like Farberware and and Revereware lids. So they were five or six bucks a piece, I think. So. All right, that's it. So I'm gonna go. Y'all have a good day. Take care. Keep listening. And uh, if you made it this far, you might as well hit the subscribe button, and I'd really appreciate a like. So. Y'all take care. Bye-bye. Maybe bye-bye.